test. Every morning, I am going to count your stuff, both booklets and answer sheets, and I will sign it. Or you can, you'll check it out. And then every afternoon or more late morning when you bring it back, I'll count in both sets. All right, it'll take us a little bit longer, but it protects you, protects me, protects her, protects him, protects us. All right, so I'll be there eight, eight between 8 and 8.30. You can come and get them. I will have them in a plastic bin, so whatever you have, at that point, it will be security, okay? So you'll need to keep it with you, either locked in a cabinet in your room, or literally, like Miss George has a, has a thing, you can put it on your car and just wheel it around with you literally all morning, okay? But once you get them, you've got to keep them secure because they will have booklets and answer documents in that pack, okay, in that stash. All right. Um, at the end of the testing, I am going to try to get to your room. We are going to be running very close. The schedule is going to be called. You probably, you're going to be probably already split through there. It's going to end about 11, 11.05. Your lunch is about 11, 11.05. Um, you guys will worry about this in a minute. But I will come by and get it if you're eating in your room. And Trevor Jenkins man suggested, really, if you're eating in the cafe that day, you can put your black container with you and bring it to the lunchroom as long as you got it, and I'll count it out right there. All right, we're going to make this easy on you, all right? We'll not make this difficult for you. All right, testing face-to-face -face is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday in the mornings. We're going to have a remote day Wednesday. We'll talk about that in a little bit, all right? Um, your test material is going to be in, in those plastic containers. I need you to go ahead and start making arrangements, telling your students online, et cetera, that we're having testing next week, and their morning classes are going to be different. And you're going to have one, two, five, six rotation. I was hearing you guys particularly. So one, two, five, six, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So that, and just and they tell your kids. And so that'll be asynchronous for them quite a bit. You guys certainly are able to work that kind of stuff out with your classes and what's best for your, your grade level. All right. Okay, in your folder, you're going to see an agenda. I know it's long, but I wrote everything down, so we will be because we are covering two test booklets. You will see uh, some rosters. 29 was the number. The number was 29. So we moved some folk and we rearranged a few people. So you may have other additions to your folder, uh, handwritten on the bottom. Maybe it says, these are going to Simpson. These are coming from um, Wright, okay? And I don't know that everybody, I don't like, like Mr. Williams, I think you have nothing on yours. It means your homeroom will stay in situ, okay? All right, guys, we will have pre-labeled stuff. I'll make sure I get all that handed. So when you count out stuff, you will have the, the booklets, answer sheets, and the two test booklets. Or excuse me, you'll have the one because we're going to do that on a Thursday or Friday. Yes. Uh, excuse me. On Friday, will we do like a trial run of where they're going to go, or? Uh, not necessarily, because we're so we're so pressed for time. But I do need you to take some time in your class to let your kids that are going to move say, "Hey guys, we're testing on Monday. Now you guys here are going to move. We were going to do that, but guys, we have such little time in the classroom right now. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a net. We only have about 12, 15 kids moving anyway, and it's between three classes. All right. There are no pullouts. Glad you kind of asked me about that. There are no accommodations, if I'm reading it 14 times correctly and hearing it from everybody. So it's all the same amount of time, no read twos, all this kind of stuff. All right, so what do you have to do? Because we have labels, we're going to start from a certain point that you don't have to work from. So if you'll follow along in the agenda, I am literally going to read to you. And you can write in your books, make notes where you need to start talking from. Let's open up, if you would, play please, to page 13 in your uh, Iowa test manual. All right? It'll say administer the test. And the reason it says it's part two, because part one is if you don't have a label. Well, we have a label. All right? So we're good. So we're going to make sure, and again, I'm going to read this to you so we're proper here, guys. 
We've got to make sure that your students are working in their proper sections. This has been known since you started in the teaching. Check that each student is marking their own sheet. You know, you don't have to stand over them. Just go by and go, yeah, man, section one, section one. Once you see that, you know, just move on to the next person and kind of take a global view. Observe that they're bubbling in correct, you know, bubbling in correctly, uh, that everybody's working independently. And if you have any questions about an incident, uh, Mrs. Young and Miss Lily will be out in the commons to do support and or you can get them and they'll get me or they'll get me and I'll get one of them, all right, depending on how far it needs to go, all right? So that's for that. So that's page 13. So turn to page 14, please. This is where you will start to talk to your children. You will read that part where it says we're now going to begin the Iowa assessment. So you want to mark that down. All right. Now, this is the only confusing part, I think, and it's why I gave you some copies of answer sheets. And I don't really want to make it confusing, but it was given to me in the PowerPoint, and I figured what the heck. So you'll read section 14 there, talk about what you need to do. Their information is going to be already on the barcode, but there's always something they want you to sign, the name of the teacher, the school, the system. So if you will look, this is what this, section, this page A and B is. This is where you're going to follow along on page 15. So if you'll look, you'll have to have them write in your name, the grade, the school, and the district. And that's all. I think that's on form A. Ms. Simpson, do you see that right there? Right? And that's what I was putting out there. So that's what you got to make sure you have filled out. And Can you say state as well? Yeah, I think it is. If it does say it state, does say yeah. State, so as much as it's asking for right there, you got to write that down, okay? Now, and that's that part. Now, the reason there's another one, now find the block labeled AI form. And I think that's on me, but I'm not sure. In other words, they have to bubble in um, the correct form. And we're form E, guys. We are form E. It's on your agenda. All right, look down there, number five. Your AI form is E. And that's what you want to have them bubble in. And if you would, please, that would be a great time to be walking around the room, making sure that they have put their names, and they otherwise, you and I may have to sit down with your class booklets later that day and bubble in form AI or something. That would be a pain for everybody. Yes, ma'am. So there is a space on the front okay. for AI, but it says which place. <sighs> Just so you know. Boss? When they say that, they says, look at the cover of your test book, but fill in the next circle of the test that is shown in your booklet. And, and it may be because that part is already on the list. Maybe, maybe, okay. Maybe so. That's, I'll look at that. We'll look together. Maybe you and I can, all right? That's a good question. They should have, the, we are Form E for all of intents and purposes, okay? All right, they're gonna to have to put their name at the at the blank on the left-hand page of the stuff. You guys have seen this before. They, they do that and then you're good to go, all right? Now on the COGAC part, which is on Friday, they'll have to do the same thing with the name and we are uh, level 13. I, know for some, I don't know why, but that's what we are in the seventh grade, all right? Give you a little second or two to kind of Soak that in. That is the only confusing part, I think, of the whole uh, procedure, guys. All right, so that'll be page 15 in your manual. All right, now you can go over here and you can read 16 as you need all the way down to 17 and tell them what they need. But remember, no, excuse me, 16 is without barcode. Do not read 16. It'll stop at 15. You do not need 16. You do not need 17. You do not need anything up to page 21. So now jump to page 21, please. Sorry, I'm jumping around there a bit. So really, you start there, then you go to 21, and that's where the meat of it starts, all right? This is going to be marking in your answer sheets and how to do it. you got to read all that to them, please. If you will turn the next page into your uh, agenda, we're moving on. That'll be to how to mark your answers. And you know, you've seen this, do this, do that, put your pencil down. Yes, I will give you pencils, uh, scrap paper, probably some mints, and just so you know, we'll have calculators later, but that's later. 
I figured you had Miss Maria. You're happy with it. All right. The first part is going to be reading. Reading. All right. For the Iowa. That's on page 23, guys. If you'll notice the way I've set the agenda up, I'm sorry that it's maybe too much info, but it really tells you what page in your manual. It tells you what page the student should turn to. Because if you notice in your manual, it'll have a blue box that says different forms. And I didn't even want you to have to try to figure that out on the day of the test. So I went ahead and put on the agenda what page they should turn to. So page 23, ladies and gents, that's where you start the, the test proper. At this point, everybody should be in the room, bathroom done. Um, Dr. Jenkins, man, I'm assuming if a student shows up late at this point, they'll get captured in the commons by one of the assistants, and then we'll maybe try to admit them for the other section. So, uh, Ms. Simpson, if you've started, and then one of your kids show up late, you will put a note on her door, and then when she starts section two, she can at least grab that student for section two, and we won't have to do a makeup but for one section. Instead of putting it on the door. Sure, slide it under. Y'all work that out. Listen, now I'm not, you know, y'all, this system was what works best for you. All right. So, if you'll notice in reading, it's 30 minutes, followed by a five minute break, and then another 30 minutes. It's on page, if you'll notice, it's 23 in your manual. That's reading number one. Turn to page, if you would, page 25. That's part reading number two. All right, and that should take you about an hour and five minutes, give or take. All right, and then we have a little break there. We can do that for that. Then we're going to do, because we're trying to fill it in and make the day run the same amount of length, we're going to skip in the manual a little bit, okay? Let's go to page 48, capitalization. That'll be the second part you give. Go ahead and turn there if you would. All right. So again, you see why I said students start at page 83 because we are level 1213. And that's that way you don't have to figure this out in the moment. So you're going to do page 40, um, 48. You'll read that. This test here, of course, looks like it is 10 minutes. All right. You will read all that, have their take their break. Then we'll go on to, pay, to punctuation, please, page 51. And then you'll read 51, all right? And I think they start on page 87 of their book. And that's just be, you're just gonna have to make sure they do that. And that's just, you know. Again, a lot of info, so you don't have to figure it out. Good news then, my friends, you will be done for the day. That should take you right up to about 11. Let one of the people know, of course, by that time, we'll all be swarming the comments trying to figure out where we are. Uh, you collect all your stuff. Please, 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 no one leave your room until you have counted all your materials. Put them in your black container. If Miss George is eating in her room and she wants to send her kids and under the auspices of other people, let her send her kids. You watch them, and I'll go count her stuff out, back in, sign it, and then you'll be free for the day, all right? Well, no, I'm sorry. Give my hopes up. For the testing period. But now, this is where you guys have the autonomy. Here we go. If you'll look now, uh, your teams, get with your team leader, get with your lunch committee, whatever you want. You guys decide who eats where. I don't want to interfere with your rotation. You're certainly capable of figuring that out. But remember, you can bring the uh, baskets into the cafe as long as you keep everything with you. We're going to check you out. Go ahead. Now you wanted me to hold the well, yeah, yeah, yeah. this one. My experience is that first day, some students take a lot longer depending on who our classes are. Um, so if we are over that 11 o'clock mark, what should we do? We are going to, you have to, I would suggest that if say everybody is done, but say Mr. Williams' group, that you guys, we don't want to hold up the entire batch for one. So we just run that through and then we'll get uh, Mr. Williams' class or whoever's class uh, in okay, I, we probably will be a little short. I get it, but they'll know. We'll know. She'll tell us. Miss Lily will tell us, and I'll certainly be in contact with the the, the three administrators. Does that make sense? So it's not going to go on. You will get to eat. They're going to eat. You're going to eat. Now, if you will look, please. 
Uh, we are going to have an AI and a STEAM day. Please note on Monday it is AI. Then they have connections one and two. And then they will go to periods one and two. And that will be Monday and Thursday. Same, same. Okay? And then you obviously can tell what's coming Tuesday and Thursday, Tuesday and Friday is STEAM and 5-6. All right, but we're listening, makes sense. Hope you're good with that. All right, so you'll turn all that in, do your thing, have at it, I'll have the stuff. What I'm gonna do is go through that day and start looking to who missed the test. If you would please put a note, a sticky note on your stack. Uh, Johnny Mnemonic was out. I will then find Johnny Ramjet stuff and we will do a rolling makeup. So the next two, that Tuesday afternoon, we will be doing, while you're in class, we'll be doing makeup for the Monday thing. You follow me? And that way we don't have to do this thing in moss, as it were. All right, guys, but well, that's how it's gonna work. So now let's look at written expression. Let's go back to page 27, if and you will. And I'm going through all this so you can make your own notes, so you don't have to Scramble and fumble, okay? So written expression is page 27 in your manual. That's where you're gonna read from. Uh, I do believe that the starting point for the student is page 19. Test is a big 40 minutes. After that, give them a couple of minutes to stretch. The proctors outside, Lily and Young, will be there not only to help you assist, and Miss Young and Miss Lily have information in their folders about looking at hallways A and C, or A and C, and then B in the science wing. So they'll be spelling you every 15 minutes. Um, if you have a kid that has some, an urgency that must go, uh, have one of them escort them to the restroom, okay? Does that make sense? All right, sorry about dropping in there. All right, let's back to vocabulary. Page 42, please, in your manual. This is, we're all on day two now, you see. So we're already moving through the week. Uh, we'll, the students will start on page 73. Test time, 15 minutes. Then, if you would please, drop over to page 45. Uh, for spelling, I think it is, if I can get my fingers. I see I've lit this and I've got this on here. Spelling, all right, and that's page 45 in your manual. Students start at page 79. Test time, 10 minutes. This day is the only day that we had some extra time, okay? So you'll have 20 minutes where they will remain in your room. This will be a great time for me to come and check your materials in. You guys can stretch. You guys can make up stuff if you need to. A cahoots, uh, a walk around for a few minutes get ready, and then we will have lunch at 11, steam that day, and then like we talked about connections till 2.20. I think that's what y'all's time is, the new time, we make sure. And then periods five and periods six. All right, now, Wednesday we'll talk about in a bit, all right? Thursday, we're at day three now, math. This is where it gets a little more involved because there are times we're gonna have calculators Without, oh, we'll talk about phones and some other stuff too. Thanks for reminding me, Doug. Sure, okay. So, you'll have scratch paper and you'll have calculators, all right? You'll have calculators. Now, I know that we don't have enough right now, but we have 100 for testing that Ms. Herb bought. We have now went out and about procure about 50-ish more. Plus, I'm gonna take uh, what Maine and Bueller have, and that's gonna be awesome. Hey, Ms. Bueller, Bueller thank you. Huh? No, that's good. <laughs> anyway, we're only going to be about 25. We're going to make that happen, all right? Guys, if the high tower trails and the dodgings of the world are supplying their children with calculators to do better on an achievement test, certainly we don't want to hamstring ourselves for the sake of arithmetic, right? I use a calculator when I'm balancing my checkbook, okay? I use a calculator all the time, just like I'm sure you do at the Kroger. So let's don't put them at a disadvantage. So, you'll hand out the scrap paper, have their name put on the upper right-hand side, 
As you know, we'll need that back. You can just take that up, put it on the stack, put it on top. I'll collect all of it when I sign you back in. All right, so math. Okay, it's section, it's page 30 in your manual. Guys, we are still in the Iowa. So let's turn to page 30, bear with me. Mathematics. Now, they cannot, and I repeat not, use their phone. So here's what we had talked about earlier as a group. Remind me if I'm getting this wrong. You watch them turn their phone off. Mr. Strumble, I got that part right. You guys watch them turn their phone off, put it in their book bag, and have you a place in a room where you can have the book bags either in the front of your room or the back. And if you want it, particularly science, have them set them outside against the door. You're gonna be the only ones out there, folks. We're gonna have the door closed off at the front. We just wanna make sure that you know that they have turned their phone off, put it in their book bag. If they really wanna put it in their, I think you said purse or pocket. Okay. Uh -huh. No, nope, not doing that. All right, you said don't do that. In their book bag. No, in their book bag. Yes, that's right, that's what I meant. Don't put it in the Otherwise, if it is an appendage, yeah, that's like right. mine is, that's right. I can put my hand in my pocket yeah, and text the room right. and you won't even know. That's right, I won't know. Um, so if it goes off, then we'll know they didn't follow directions. That's gonna be an allegorarity in the third. Yes, ma'am. What about smartwatches? Yeah, that's a good deal. Actually, I don't know if I can make them take their smartwatches off, AJM. Yes, you, can. You, can, you know what, yes, you can make them take their smartwatches off. <laughs> so you make them take their smartwatches off and it goes in their book bag as well. Yes. Um, it needs to be, I, I would keep it within their possession. So being in their book bag, that may, that way you're not liable if it disappears. Okay. Yeah, and I know what you're saying, because that's we had done that, but you know, it's it's a theory that you can't really argue against. We've had people already this, this year can't account for a phone. That's 400 plus dollars, all right? All right, so they can use their calculators, guys and gals, all right? And they'll do that with their scratch paper. They're gonna knock that through. We are looking at uh, 30 minutes. They can use calculators. Then on page 33, Mrs. George, they will be on 33, and you guys will do um, the next section. If a kid needs more scratch paper, for God's sakes, folks, if I don't give you enough the first time, certainly make do or ask for some more. We will get that to you. All right. Now, they will use their calculators for the second part of math. That is on page 33 for you, all right? That is 30 minutes. When that is done, I would have them, when they're finished with that, because the next section is computation, which is SANS calculators, put the calculators on the floor underneath the desk, right? And if, you know, Mr. Um, Heenan wants to go by during the test quietly or just something to collect them, just, but they need to be where you can see them, okay? By the way, if the student has their own calculators, a simple gra a non graphing calculator, more power to them. Matter of fact, beautiful. And you know, you've seen it. And I don't know that too many seventh graders are going to have a graphing calculator. So if they want to bring theirs, a little whatever, beautissimo. Okay? That way you don't have to hand one out to them anyhow. All right. Now, the next part is page 54 in your manual. And it's the last part of the aisle. So bear with me, we're three quarters of the way done. This part will not have the calculator, okay? No, no calculators whatsoever here. They will do this uh, without any uh, help with that, and I think that's 20 minutes. Once that's done, you collect, let us know, blah, blah, blah. I come in, we sign up. Again, 11 to 11.35. You have AI that day, connections one, connections two, and we're back to period one, period two for the balance of the day. And that takes care of the item. All right? Anything so far? And I, I appreciate you guys giving me the little ins and outs. I didn't forget about the smart watch. It's, I'm an analog guy. All right? That's a fact. The Kogak guys, I don't know if you remember, it took a long time to recall it. It's a, a series of 10 minute tests. It's nine 10 minute tests. Bam, 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 okay? So, Kogak, again, you keep this. This is your one. 
until we're done. How about open it up, please, to page 19. All right, you will read that section right there where it says, look at three of your words, finds taking the test. All right? And this is going to happen in the morning, just like normal, same groups. All right, the first thing they're going to do is page 21, which is verbal analogies. Okay? Bam, bam, bam. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Then you move right on. How about page 23, please? Sentence completion. Ten minutes. Bam, bam. And then how about go on to page 25, please? Verbal classification. So you'll have three 10 minute sec tests right there, just like that. And then we'll take a break. Yes, ma'am. Do we need to read page 15 to 12? I would think by then it's been done. Let me make sure. Uh, la, 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 find the test. I would think by then you've already know. This one's crossed out. I think because you, you only have one set of answer documents. So that's what we did, right, Mr. What, right? We've already filled that. That was what we front loaded that, okay? Okay. I was no, no, I get it. Because it's D. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'll yeah. probably give too much information. No, that's um, fine. All right. So then after the first ten, three 10 minute sections, take a five, 10 minute break water you guys stay in the room let the prof or let the assistant proctors outside uh, help them you know one at a time two at a time all right so then we've done verbal sentence and verbal classification let's go ahead and if you would turn to the last page of your agenda all right then we'll do number analogies which is on page 27 which is 17 for the kids 10 minute test all right Turn to page 29, please, for number puzzles. Makes it sound so much fun. Uh, it is page 21 in the student book. That's, again, 10 minutes. And then, if that's not enough, Ms. Bueller, page 31, number series. All right, again, that will be three 10-minute tests. Time for a quick break, five-minute stretch, whatever you got to do. And then we'll be on the home stretch, my friends. Uh, page 39, please. Now, here's the only thing that looks a little weird. And this is why we set and kind of figured this out first. It says for directions for 13, 14, 15, and 17. Yes. All right. So just check me on here, Ms. Simpson. Page 39 for levels 30, 13 and 14, which is page 32 and 33 in the booklet. It's a 10-minute test, guys, from page 39. All right. When that's done, how about turn to page 42 for me? Paper folding. What? I know it's a little different. It's kind of cool. It's a standard kind of cognitive uh, abilities test, right? On Found on most IQ level tests, I'm not mistaken. Folding paper is 42, and you 42 and 43 for the booklet and the kids. That's 10 minutes. And then finally, last and certainly not least, figure classification, 10 minutes, all right? And then that'll be Friday. And then by then, we'll all be ready to have this over. Remember, each day you're missing a kid or a student, have you, or didn't finish something, write that name down on a little, what you call a sticky note. Put it on top of the pile that you hand me back. We'll do our best to uh, compile those kids, grab them and test them. If you will note, please, uh, always secure your materials with me. You will always, I will count them out to you. No, you'll count them out, sign, I will count them in, and sign, we will be safe, you and I both. They'll go to connections one, connections two, all right, and then periods five and periods six. Yes, ma'am. So we won't be able to do 30 minutes? No, sir. Because you know, you've got 10 minutes to test, but we got to read the page. Okay. Get those kids on the same page. Okay, we okay, that makes sense. We've always had to switch uh, with grade level. I think we've always switched to six and had six go first, so that we don't completely interrupt the entire school day for everybody. I'd almost
almost just rather have you guys go later and not try to flip too many schedules at this late point. Dr. Jenkins, man, 